Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. If you're heading to Stockholm, Sweden, you might want to check out Scandic Continental. It's a hotel right across from Central Station, not far away from Gamla Stan, which is the old town, and everything that you'd actually want to visit when you're in Stockholm. Like I said, the hotel is literally right across the street from Central Station. So if you're coming in on the Arlanda Express or by train, you'll be at the hotel in about two minutes. This hotel was built in 2016 and when you book a room here or in many places in Europe, be aware that there are often inside rooms and this hotel is no exception. They have inside rooms that face the atrium and they also have rooms with no windows. I want to make a comment about the atrium facing rooms. They are not very private and you will likely keep your curtain closed closed as people waiting at the elevators or across from you can look right into your room. They also have rooms with no windows at all, which is really no big deal if you're coming in for a night or not spending any time in your room. We booked a room with a window. We stayed at this hotel for five nights. Let's have a look at our room. We stayed on the sixth floor. So as you can see, we have a floor to ceiling window here. The room itself was fairly spacious for European standards and you'll know what I mean if you've traveled to Europe. Our beds were super comfortable. It's quite normal to have two beds pushed together and separate blankets. In fact, we slept so well that when we got home, we went to Ikea and bought separate queen size blankets. It's awesome. Bedside tables with room and night lights, plugs on each side of the bed. We had European plugs with USB chargers built in and I'll add links to those below because really what else are you plugging in anyway the room had a kettle with instant coffee and tea packets and one thing I wanted to mention about the TV is it had a built-in Chromecast so you can stream Netflix or whatever so the mirror in the room had an ironing board behind it and next we're gonna pop over to the bathroom and have a look at that so the bathroom is modern with a wall hung toilet. The whole room is tile, everything's off the floor. So it's very nice and clean. There's even a bottle opener attached to the wall. Over here's a blow dryer and a close up mirror for all those stray hairs. At the sink, you're gonna find soap and body lotion. And in the fairly spacious shower, you'll find shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, along with a thermostatically controlled faucet so you can preset the water temperature. All right, let's move on outside to the rooftop terrace. This is a great space to hang out uh, when the weather's nice, especially in the summer. And don't forget, Sweden has very long days in the summer. In July, the sun rises before 4 a.m. and doesn't set until about 10. The view from here is beautiful, overlooking Central Station, right there, that white building with the black roof and City Hall in the distance there. Up here, there are wooden loungers. There's a bit of zero scape gardening. There's some outdoor workout equipment. There's Keith, he's trying out a few pieces and he's working off all the Swedish food that we ate. Wait till you see the breakfast at this hotel. That's coming up next. This rooftop is a great place to get your bearings and it gives you a really good idea of how close everything actually is to this hotel. Stockholm is a very walkable city and the city is serviced by buses and trams and trains. So getting around is a piece of cake and everyone speaks English here. So it's easy to get around. From here, we walk to Gamla Stan, which is the old town. From here, it takes about 10 minutes. And when we actually walked all the way to the Vasa Museum, the ABBA Museum, I've got some great videos coming up on those places as well. Uh, but not everybody likes to walk as much as we do. And this hotel is literally smack dab in the middle of all the transportation options from buses and trains to the hop on hop off bus that goes by. All right, it's time to head down for breakfast. This is included with your stay and I have to say it was one of my all time favorite hotel breakfasts ever. Let's have a look. So as we arrive in the dining room, you'll be greeted with these beautiful chilled juices and smoothies. They had bread. So this is their dried knäcke bread and their buns with the jam and fresh Swedish bread. So delicious. That's what I grew up with in my Swedish home. There were also lots of fresh vegetables to choose from. You'll also find yogurt with their toppings. So they had strawberry and plain, so delicious. They had Swedish pancakes. They're kind of like a crepe. There's meatballs and sausages, hard boiled and scrambled eggs, Swedish baking, so yummy. 
And I'm a tea lover, so their selection of loose teas really made me happy. They also had coffee makers and coffee machines that you could make coffee. The seating was plentiful and there were lots of servers to help you out if you needed anything. You can also arrange for a picnic basket to be made up and they had bikes available for you to use as well. We had an amazing time in Stockholm staying at the Scandic Continental Hotel. I highly recommend it for your stay in the city. We booked this hotel ourselves and are not being paid to say nice things about it. I have more great videos coming up on Stockholm, including the Vasa Museum, what to eat in Sweden, souvenirs that you need to bring home, and of course, the ABBA Museum. Check out the links I've included below, including the best anti-theft or anti-pickpocket day packs that we travel with. Thanks so much for watching Tina Girl Travels. I hope I was able to help you out today. If I was, give my video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.